Hello everyone it's me Ollie, and today I am excited to share my full experience with the Motorola 40 over the past one month. My team and I have thoroughly tested this device and I must say it has left a very good impression on us. This device is just crazy. But there are still a few things that I think Motorola needs to work on so let's quickly get into all of those. Motorola has done a great job on the design side of things. This is one of the most comfortable and sleek phones that I've used this year. You know I have been reviewing the OnePlus Nord 3, the Realme 11 Pro series while I started testing this phone. And the level of comfort I have felt using the Edge 40 is unmatched. Seriously, but of course with such a slim and light form factor Motorola had to compromise on things like the battery size as a result the max screen on time I got with this phone on my regular kind of usage was just about 5 hours or so and secondly because there is not enough space for the heat to spread inside this sleek chassis even doing casual activities like charging or editing short videos on Instagram would warm this device up. I wouldn't exactly say that this phone has heating issues or anything, but I'm just letting you know that it can be a little warm sometimes. Just sharing my experience. I have also been impressed with this device in the display department. The OLED panel on the Motorola Edge 40 is just gorgeous. That's not only because it's bright and has good colors and contrast, but just look at those thin symmetrically fine bezels. The subtle curves and the tiny bunch hole you will surely understand what I am trying to say. Plus I love how this screen is so responsive and the 144Hz refresh rate is just cherry on top to save battery. I did not use the phone at 144Hz refresh rate most of the time rather I use the auto switch option that switches between 1690 and 120Hz depending on the content displayed on the screen and I have to tell you the phone switches between the set refresh rates very swiftly which goes on to show that Motorola has done the optimization quite well. Moving on the speakers on the Moto Edge 40 are quite nice too. They can get loud without any significant distortion and they even have to all the at most support so the overall content consumption experience on this device has been terrific for me. The only thing that's quite average about its display is HDR video playback. It does not have easier support on Netflix yet and even on YouTube. You can notice a lot of black crushing in dark scenes which does not look good. I think the cameras on this device also require a few updates to perform well. One of the best examples of this has to be the way the Edge 40 renders human subjects. If you look closely at the pictures, you can see the lack of sharpness in them, and even the skin tone looks quite tall in most portrait charts. I have taken from this phone, I almost look like a painting that said normal daytime shots look decent enough. Performance wise, I did not have much of an issue with this device. The Dimensity 8020 was able to handle all of my regular tasks multitasking and everything very well. I actually thought that this device would heat up a lot while doing heavy tasks especially while gaming, but that wasn't the case surprisingly. Casually playing something like Genshin Impact for 13 minutes did not heat up the device that much and the FPS stability even in high settings was not bad. So guys that was my opinion about the Motorola Edge 40. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did don't forget to like share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon.